Hey loves, what's popping up? I hope all of you are doing well. Today I bring you blessings, I bring you love, I bring you peace, I bring you joy, I bring you happiness wherever you find yourself. I just wanted to take a chill pill with me. Stick, stay and keep watching till the end of this content. We shall be learning how to make this beautiful boo boo crop top. This fabric you are seeing right now, the length is 18 inches and the width is also 18 inches. So when you are cutting the width, make sure you factor in the length of your shoulder divided by 2 plus the length of the sleeve that's how long you want the sleeve to be add that together that is what you use to cut your width plus any other allowances and for the length just go ahead and use your half length your waist point or wherever you want the top to get to these are the fabric pieces one for the front and the other for the back i've already gone ahead to put the front piece on fold and also the back piece on fold after that i just went ahead to place them on top of each other in summary this is the back and the front piece on top of each other and both of them are on fold the first thing we shall be doing is to determine our neck width for the neck width i'm going to be using four inches for that and the neck depth for the front I shall be using 9 inches so this is 9 inches I'm marking and I'll go ahead and just join this two point that is a neckline for the front for the back neckline I shall be using 1.5 inches and I'll just connect it to the neck width then the next thing we want to do now is to mark our shoulder divided by 2 so my shoulder divided by 2 was 8 inches I went ahead to mark that and also determine the length of the sleeve so for the length of the sleeve i wanted nine inches i'll be adding one inches for the folding allowance from that point i'll be stepping down by two inches and i'll be connecting that to join with my neckline so this is our shoulder slope we shall also be determining the opening of our sleeve that's how wide we want our sleeve opening to be for me i shall be marking nine inches for my sleeve opening from this side, I'll be coming in by 3 inches and I connect it to my sleeve open. That is just all for the cutting. My length was just exactly what I cut out, which was 18 inches. Don't need to do any cutting right there. What we are going to do now is we're going to be cutting everything out. Finally, take this moment to subscribe to this channel. If this video has been helpful, you can go ahead and click the like button. If it is not helpful, you can also go ahead and click the dislike button. This is going to help me know the impact of the video. And on this very channel, I have a video on how to make a very beautiful palazzo pants for this type of boo-boo and crop tops. Go ahead and check that out after this video. This is one of the videos on my channel that is getting most views. In this channel, we do everything fashion, everything DIY, everything tailoring, and everything sewing. You definitely need to subscribe to this channel and be part of the family, okay? We eat fashion, we drink fashion, we sleep fashion, we do everything fashion on this channel. If you're into anything like that, then this is the best home for you and you are warmly welcome. When I get to this side, I'll first of all cut out the back neckline and I'll go ahead and separate the front from the back and i also cut out the front neckline. I'm done with everything. This is the back piece and this is the front piece. I'll take it to my sewing machine. First of all, I'll join the shoulder line this way and on the other side the same way. Let me do that and come back and show you what we should do next. I'm done with that. Next is to go ahead and use a cotton bias to pipe my neckline all around. If you don't feel okay to use the bias, you could just go ahead and overlock the edges of your fabric and just give it a single fold. When you do that, this is going to make it look as though it's an already made dress and it's going to make it look more professional. When you are done with that, just open up your sleeve this way, fold it in and stitch also move to the other side of the sleeve fold it in and stitch once you are done with that go ahead and arrange it this way stitch this side and also stitch the other side the last thing is to fold your hem and stitch all around take a look at that i'm done with everything I've gone ahead to pipe my neckline. I've also gone ahead to hem. But when I was hemming, I ensured that the fold should be enough to take in my elastic. So the last thing is to go ahead and insert our elastic. When I was also hemming the down part, I left about one inch opening. That is where I'll be passing my elastic through. With the help of my safety pin, I'll be passing my elastic through the tunnel. I'll top stitch on the elastic band. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and close up that one inch opening. That is it. 
this is how it's looking on my dummy isn't that beautiful this can go with a palazzo pants and it will look very beautiful i have a video on that kindly check that out thank you for stopping by and see you in my next video